What will be our legacy? And what do famous English gardener Gertrude Jiegel and Spanish artist Salvador Dali have to do with it? Today, we'll invite you on our adventure to answer those questions. If you're looking for custom-made furniture with unique designs and old-world craftsmanship, then Spectacular Smith is for you. Contact us today to reserve your place on our list to purchase our limited edition work. You're invited to reach out to us through our website, spectacularsmith.com. Earlier this year, we announced that we started work on our Jekyll Rising custom furniture collection. Our primary inspiration was world-renowned English garden designer Gertrude Jekyll. But Jekyll was more. As a Renaissance woman during the 1800s and 1900s, she simultaneously ran various businesses from Munstead Wood, her home in Surrey, England. Today, Munstead Wood is part of the UK's National Trust and is being restored by head gardener Annabelle Watts. Located 40 minutes southwest of London, it's a beautiful place to visit and to find inspiration from Jigil, who is passionate about developing her own solutions to artistic and business challenges. An example of her fortitude was how she got started in gardening. As a painter, she was told by a doctor that she should expect a certain level of blindness as she aged and that she should give up on being a painter. In the late 1800s, the idea of the business pivot had not been invented, but that's precisely what Jigil did. She traded in her paintbrush and developed a unique eye for impressionistic gardening by using the earth as her canvas and flowering plants as her paint, all the while becoming an influential part of the arts and crafts movement. Ironically, Jika went on to teach herself how to be a photographer, going on to build her own film development lab as part of Munstead Wood. For a fascinating tour of Munstead Wood, check out a visit to Gertrude Jigel's amazing garden at Munstead Wood on GardenMoxie.com. On the surface, Salvador Dali and Jigel could not have been any different. Where Dali was a flamboyant self-promoter, Jigel appeared to be more reclusive. But they both shared a love for breaking the rules of art and society, and they were both first-class artists who lived during the same time period. But most importantly, they looked outside the traditional areas of inspiration for their art, with Jigel continuing her artistic endeavor as a painter with plants, and Dali looking to science and religion for his. For our purposes, Dali's 1931 painting, The Persistence of Memory, popularly known as Melting Clocks, is the essential inspiration for our collection, both for its artistic merit and the overall concept of the title. Collectively, both Jigal and Dali were inspired by nature and took nature to extremes by embracing the avant-garde. They also both had high standards of craftsmanship in everything that they did. So in everything that we design and craft for our Jigal Rising collection, we asked ourselves two questions. What if Jigal and Dali work together on this design? And does the resulting concept and execution lend itself to a legacy work? One that will bring joy to the collector today and years from now bring joy to whomever the collector has given the work to. Why a limited edition loudspeaker for the first part of our collection? As artists and engineers, combining a beautiful object with functionality through applied physics was an ideal first project. After all, music is one of the universal languages and you need a sound producing device of some kind to hear it. And we have a history in the design and construction of loudspeakers. Going back to our time in grade school, combining a love of woodworking and performing music meant owning high quality music reproduction equipment was a must. Except that financially, this was impossible. So in the spirit of Jekyll, we made our own loudspeakers inspired by past and present greats. Today, through a combination of trial and error and applied physics, we can now bring to you what was unobtainable to us. While mathematical equations continue to be helpful as a starting point, modern computer equipment has come a long way in analyzing the performance of each component of a loudspeaker, as well as the overall performance of the system once the prototype has been assembled. It's also useful for quality control to ensure that the last Legacy 1 loudspeaker is as good as the first. We've also started using artificial intelligence, also known as AI, as part of our design process. While in the past, we would have sketched and rendered concepts for a long time and would have made concessions to what could be imagined in our minds and what could be placed onto paper or onto a computer screen, with AI, we can now develop and render thousands of versions of our initial concepts with the benefit for you of financial obtainability. Join us next time as we select and test the drivers for our loudspeaker system. If you have questions, please join us on Twitter and YouTube and feel free to post your questions and comments. We'll respond to as many as possible. Until then, 
Good morning to you, because it's always morning somewhere.